Hi, good afternoon, students, or good morning, depends on what time you're watching this lesson. Um, we're back with another pronunciation practice. So if you haven't yet, you should make sure to watch pronunciation video number one or pronunciation video number two. Um, if you want to catch up on some of the other vocabulary that we have been practicing these last few uh, videos, let me jump over into my presentation. We're going to go back and forth a little bit. Remember that we're talking about the reduced pronunciation of certain specific words in American English. Um, of course, there are many different varieties of English. Not that one variety is more important or better or more beautiful than the other, just that they're different. And so we have to be able to understand the pronunciation of the area where we are living at. Remember, when we're thinking about pronunciation, there's a few important things that we have to, re we have to be aware of. Um, first is the idea of syllable. My word syllable, syllable, has three pieces. Those pieces are called syllables. So my word syllable has three syllables. Syllable. Um, teacher, teacher. Declaration, declaration. We want to think about how many syllables are in the word. Usually when we're thinking about syllable, we can make a connection between how many vowels are in the word and how many syllables. However, in the way that we actually are using spoken English in the United States, um, the syllables we expect to see in the word and the syllables that are actually pronounced are different. We're going to talk about both clear pronunciation or the clear form of the word and the reduced pronunciation. Clear form is often what we think of as our British pronunciation. Syllable, that distinct clear pronunciation where you are hearing every piece pronounced. The reduced form is what we are more um, commonly hearing in the United States, where the word is cut, the word is shortened. Um, often my students will say the word has been swallowed. In the United States, we're very hungry. We're always swallowing our words. If you hadn't seen uh, videos number one or video number two, just a quick review, the five words we talked about in video number two. Aspirin, aspirin. Chocolate, chocolate. Evening, evening. Last evening, I had some chocolate and I took an aspirin to help my headache. Several, several. To be honest, I had several pieces of chocolate. Every, every. Every day, we should be eating several pieces of chocolate to help us with English. Okay, let's jump into our, our new five vocabulary words. Um, again, if you have a word that you're not sure about that's been especially difficult for you, make sure to leave it in the comments. My first word here looks like it should be three pieces. Different. But my shortened pronunciation in the United States, I'm saying different. Different. I know all the different options. I know all the different options. In my classroom, there are people from many different countries. Different, different. Now, different is adjective. There is also a verb form, differ, and I do say differ, differ. Her opinion differs from mine. Her opinion is different, different. My word here is a little bit tricky because it looks like it should be three pieces. Restaurant. Restaurant. And you are absolutely beautiful and clear and correct if you want to say restaurant. I went to the restaurant yesterday. What's your favorite restaurant? You are okay to pronounce like this. However, 
In the United States, many speakers of English are shortening this second part, and it sounds like restaurant, restaurant. Remember that the T and R in English, the T and R in English is often reducing to become the sound of CH. Instead of travel, I'm saying travel. Instead of try, trouble, I'm saying try and trouble. So instead of saying restaurant, I'm saying restaurant, restaurant. Which restaurant is your favorite? Which restaurant is your favorite? No short form to connect to that one. Speaking of restaurants, at a restaurant, you might see a menu or you might have um, a server who asks you, what beverage would you like? What beverage would you like? My word looks like it should have three. Beverage, beverage. But I shorten this really tightly and I say beverage, beverage. Remember that beverage is any type of liquid that you drink. So water, soda, juice, um, beer, tequila, um, absolutely anything that you drink is considered a beverage. Um, even something like smoothie or uh, maybe milkshake is a beverage, something that you drink. Soup, not a beverage. At the end of the meal, maybe you pick up your soup and you do drink it at the end, but not considered a beverage. What's your favorite beverage? What's your favorite beverage? My next word here, sorry, my, my circles showed up a little bit earlier than they should, is my word typically. It looks like it should have four pieces, typically, but I'm shortening it, I'm tightening it in my mouth and I'm saying typically, typically. Typically is my adverb with L-Y, typically. I typically work from eight until three. Typical, typically, typically is similar to usually, generally, most of the time, my habit, my routine. Um, what time do you typically wake up? What time do you typically wake up? I typically see you on Monday and Tuesday. We typically practice dictation on Monday or Friday, typically. Maybe you heard me or you caught me. I went back and forth between the words typically and the words typical. This is why my pronunciation of typically is so difficult because the adjective form, I do say typical, typical, a typical day, a typical problem, a typical person. But my adverb, I don't say typically, I say typically, typically, typical, typically. How's your brain? Are you feeling okay? So far, so good. Another word that you recognize, I'm sure the same way that you recognize, typically the same way that you recognize um, restaurant and beverage, two different bad pronunciations that people are using for this word. Now, my beautiful pronunciation would be three pieces. Probably, probably. Remember, probably is talking about likely possibility, how much is the percentage of chance that something will happen? I'm saying probably, 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 probably. I should probably go. I should probably go. I think he can probably help me. I think he can probably help me. I did put this second pronunciation here, um, which is considered to be a really poor pronunciation of probably, probably. I should probably go. I should probably go. I'm probably gonna see you tomorrow. I'm probably gonna see you tomorrow. 
Again, similarly, like typically, typical, I have probably and probable. Probable. Probable, my adjective. And here I do pronounce every piece. I say probable, probable. But up above, I say probably, probably. Let's look back over at the five words, really seven with the two, um, with typically and with probably. We added in those extra words. We talked about different, different, lots of different people, lots of different opinions. Restaurant, restaurant. I think we should try a different restaurant today. I think we should try a different restaurant today. Beverage, beverage. When you go to a different restaurant, they're going to ask you, what would you like for a beverage? What beverage would you like? Typically, typically I like to drink water as my beverage. Probably, probably, if I've had a long day at work, probably, probably I'm going to drink some soda. All right, students, let me know in the comments, how were these words for you? Which one was easy? Which one was difficult? Are there other words that you also have difficulty with for your pronunciation? Um, talk to you later. Bye.